Welcome back, it's me, Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review, and today from Mattel in their WWE line, we are featuring Series 136, Dolph Ziggler. Alright, so as of this recording, it's December 18th, 2023. Dolph Ziggler, unfortunately, was let go from the company some months ago. Uh, speculation is is that he's going to appear on AEW at some point in the near future. Um, there's already been some photos of him backstage. So it's just a matter of time before Nick Nemeth joins his brother Ryan Nemeth in All Elite Wrestling. Uh, big fan of Dolph Ziggler. I know I say that with all <laughs> whenever I review a wrestling figure, but yeah, I'm a big fan of Ziggler. Um, an amazing talent. Um, you might remember him back in the day when he was with the Spirit Squad as Nikki. Um, oh man, can't say enough good things about him. You know, such an incredible talent. The hardcore fans always talk about how he's been, you know, underused during his time with WWE. But, you know, I think it could be argued that they didn't appreciate um, his talents and his efforts. You know, especially during that last year when he was with WWE. Uh, he and Bobby Roode appeared on NXT and he won the NXT Championship, which delighted fans of both NXT and Ziggler himself. Uh, for one, it really elevated NXT, I kind of think. You know, brought it on a, on a somewhat different level, brought it to a larger stage, uh, but brought more eyes to the product. Uh, Ziggler is someone that it seems like unanimously everyone agrees he's an amazing wrestler, an incredible talent, uh, superstar performer. And, it's, you know, for me, it's kind of sad. You know, this is probably going to be his last WWE figure. But it captures a period of time that I'm also fond of. You know, he's wearing the pink gear. And that's to be paired up with... Let me grab it real quick if I can find it. You can pair that up with the pink gear to Bobby Roode. And here they are as the Dirty Dogs. Uh, Bobby Roode, unfortunately, I think he was forced into retirement due to maybe like a back injury. So I think right now he's relegated to like a producer role. But also a big fan of his, um, especially back in the day in uh, TNA. But we'll talk about that when I review this figure in another video. All right, so for now, let's get this uh, ball rolling. Take a look at Dolph Ziggler. Uh, Dolph Ziggler has been very fortunate to have so many action figures under the Mattel banner. Uh, everything from basic figures to elites. Um, you know, he's had his fair share of... Oh, plastic replicas. Um, this one's great. Uh, the likeness is pretty decent. Kind of has a very stern expression. Uh, the hair is nicely sculpted. Uh, he has the Dirty Dogs um, logo on the tights. I was kind of surprised that they didn't package this as a two-pack uh, with Robert Roode. But, you know, as a solo figure, it's it's great. So, well done action figure. Uh, if you've been fortunate to go to Dolph's comedy shows, you'll know what a entertaining performer he is. You know, besides being a talented in-ring in performer, he's even talented just on the mic. A very engaging personality. Uh, so, yeah, this is kind of a swan song when it comes to WWE figures, you know, unfortunately. But, like I said, he's had a number of figures um, produced throughout Mattel's uh, hold on the license. So, you know, you could go back and pick and choose which Ziggler figure you want if you don't have one already. But for me, this kind of holds a special place in my heart. You know, it's captures Dolph in his <laughs> last days in WWE. And I'm always going to be fond of that time when he crossed over to NXT and won the belt. All right, so with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.